So the big news in the metal community, as we all know, is Slipknot has uh, fired their longtime drummer, Jay Weinberg. I use the term fired now because Jay has finally spoken up about this. He made a social media post that I'm going to bring up really quick before we really dive into this, but we're currently live on Twitch on a day that I never stream. I just really wanted to jump on here and talk to you guys about this because I love having people in chat where people can throw out their ideas and we can bounce back and forth. But I'm really wondering if Slipknot's new drummer accidentally outed themselves on social media recently. And I say Slipknot's new drummer because I firmly believe that they already have somebody. A lot of people are like, oh, they don't have any festivals coming up until like April or May. Like they probably don't have somebody. They, I bet they do. A band Slipknot size is not going to fire their drummer without having somebody at least ready to go and lined up. So I do believe that they have somebody. Today, I'm going to present you um, something that happened. And I want to let you guys make up your own mind. Uh, I will preface this by saying this is not a 100% confirmation. But this is kind of a, an interesting thing that happened. So we can see this and discuss. But first, let's talk about Jay's take on what actually happened. So if anybody's watching this that doesn't know that's a metal fan, I don't know how that's possible. But uh, last week, Slipknot announced that Jay Weinberg will no longer be in their band. And they cited it due to wanting to go in a different creative direction. Jay has been quiet. So people have been speculating on whether he was getting fired or whether he was quitting or something like that. But Jay, less than 24 hours ago, has finally posted uh, a statement. I'm not going to read the whole thing on this video right now because that's not what we're focusing on. So if you want to check it out, uh, you can go to his Instagram, which is at Jay Weinberg. But I'll also have it on screen if you want to pause and read it. But the big part that he did say uh, in the second paragraph, it says, quote, I was heartbroken and blindsided to receive the phone call that I did on the morning of November 5th, the news of which most of you learned shortly after. However, I've been overwhelmed by and truly grateful for the outpouring of love and support I've received from this incredible community I consider to be my creative and artistic home. So that right there, if that is to be taken as 100% truth, which I have no reason to believe why Jay would make up or lie about anything in this situation. He was fired and he had no idea it was coming. They called him literally like a day after they did Heaven and Hell Fest or Hell and Heaven Fest or whatever it's called down in Mexico and they let him go. Mufasa and Chacha said, wasn't there a source saying it was a long time coming though? Uh, yeah, that is accurate. Uh, in my last video, I did say, I will not say who it is because they did not give me public permission to name them. But there was somebody close to the Slipknot organization that told me, according to them, this was a long time coming. So if Jay didn't know about it, it seems like other people were aware. So we have to bring that up to be fair as well. And I will say to Jay's credit, I have seen so many comments from Slipknot fans that were like, this is ridiculous. Now, to be fair, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes with business and uh, relationships and how they are personally and stuff like that, but it seems like the Slipknot fan base is not stoked about this. First, it was Joey, and then we had Chris and Craig that left, and now Jay, and this, this to me, this seems like the last straw for a lot of Slipknot fans, like, being done with them. Now, whether or not that's true and they don't listen to them anymore, I don't know, but, like, there are a lot of people that think that this is a horrible move, but let's move on into uh, what we're here to talk about. A, a guy that possibly outed himself as their drummer. So on Friday, I was, uh, I was actually out at the mall with Claire and Ingrid and we were just having a fun family day. And I was texting with uh, Mike Caputo, fantastic metal drummer. He is currently with Job for a Cowboy. Uh, previously, he was with Brand of Sacrifice. He was like, dude, did you just see this post? And he said, so-and-so's post. And I was like, no. And he sent me a screenshot of it. And he said, this has been deleted since. It was deleted pretty quick. But Jeremy Kling just posted this on his social media that just has the Slipknot logo as the image with a caption that says, Drumming is simply a matter of timing. Bring it to you. Invite the chaos. And that post was deleted from his social media very quickly. Now, what I want to do in this video is kind of like talk about this just from face value real quick and then talk to you about Jeremy Kling because I can tell from chat that some people don't know who Jeremy is. Poppy Lama just said, are they implying Jay's time ran out? Mm, possibly. But I don't see why they would post that, like, they would 
post that and then take it down. Cause there were some comments on that post before it got deleted where people were like, what? So at face value, that post to me, considering how it was posted, the logo of the band, the wording, and then how quick it was removed. It could be, there were a couple thoughts across my mind. The first one was maybe he is the new drummer. And he posted that thinking he had the green light to say something. And then they said, yo, take that down. My other question too, and I asked this to, to Mike, I was like, yeah, but is there a chance that he could be screwing around? And Mike's like, mm, yeah, you can't rule that out, but he's not the kind of guy that does that. He's not like a huge social media presence or anything. Like he doesn't troll like that on the internet. So my, according to Mike, he's like, I don't think that that would be him trolling. Can't rule it out because we don't know what's going on, but... My gut instinct is leading to this is not trolling. Um, I really think that maybe in some capacity, this was a hint. Jizig just said silent job application. Maybe we saw Krim 10 years ago post uh, drum playthroughs of Slipknot as an unofficial audition, you know? So we can't rule all that out. I, I think as somebody said in chat, it's the dirty delete that is doing it for me. <laughs> and Slipknot loves their deleted posts. We know that. It, it also could be something in a different capacity maybe he took a new job with them because the thing we're going to talk about, this guy has also been a, uh, like a touring audio engineer too. Maybe he took a drum tech gig with them. Maybe he took an audio gig with them. I don't know. But one of the other big things is he announced his official departure from his old band right as they announced that they were letting Jay go. So that's, that adds up to it too. But let's talk about Jeremy Kling really quick, just in case nobody's familiar. So Jeremy Kling is in his early 40s. I think he's like 40 or 41, I believe. He's an American drummer, and he's most known as up until a few days ago being the uh, most recent drummer for Venom Inc. Not to be confused with Venom, which the short of that is if you're if you're familiar with Venom and Venom Inc. or not familiar rather, it's basically kind of two versions of the same original band. Like some members from Venom went on to form Venom Inc., but Venom still exists by itself. It's crazy. But Jeremy Kling most recently was the drummer for Venom Inc. He was also the drummer for The Absence as well. But on top of being a drummer, he's also been a touring audio engineer and a producer. He's toured on the road with people and has worked with bands like uh, Deicide, Cataclysm, Sepultura, and his current band, Venom Inc. He was working for them before they asked him to join the band. So the guy obviously has his skills down. So for anybody that's not familiar, I'll just give you a quick clip. All right, so you got a little bit of taste of his drumming there. And... The the wild thing is, I will admit, I'll, I'll fully admit, like, I, I'm not a wealth of information about everything. I don't know everybody in the industry. I've heard of Jeremy through other roadie friends, and I knew that he was the drummer for Venom Inc., but I'm not super familiar with his drumming technique and his skill other than the bands he's been in. And he does strike me. As Johan in chat just said, somebody that feels like he has a very different style than Slipknot. From the videos I've seen and what I've heard about him, he definitely seems like he has more of an old school, traditional, like death metal, black metal style. But that's not to say he couldn't do it. But I, from his vibe and the bands he's been in, it would strike me as odd. However, to the point I just made, we don't really know if he's fully capable of doing the Slipknot stuff and he very well may be like he is a good drummer for the bands he's been in. Also to bring up again, he's been in the industry working for other bands for a very long time. So he's very well connected in the industry. There's probably a good chance that he knows a lot of the people that are in that Slipknot camp, and they probably know him too. Robert Percy in chat just brought up a good point. V-Man was a tech and a roadie before he was in Slipknot, so it makes sense. Like, yeah, V-Man was not a bass player that I, I myself or a lot of my friends expected was going to come in. I mean, to be honest, I didn't expect Jay Weinberg be, to be the drummer that replaced Joey Jordison, but Jay did a fantastic job. So taking into account that this, this pretty much is a full-blown tinfoil hat moment, looking at the facts of what happened, Slipknot announces that they're letting Jay go from the band right after their performance at Heaven and Hell Festival. Right after that, Jeremy Kling announces that after five years, 
He is no longer going to be in Venom Inc. due to logistical reasons. That was exactly what his post said. Jay comes out and says that he was blindsided by getting fired. And we have this mysterious social media post from Jeremy with the Slipknot logo saying drumming is all about timing that has since been deleted. Not to mention Jeremy's connections in the music industry as a roadie and as an audio engineer and as a drummer. A lot of people in the metal world know him. This isn't a hundred percent confirmation by any means. Like I'm not going to go out on a limb and say, this is the new Slipknot drummer, but some of the evidence that's here, um, does not seem too far fetched to me actually. And considering that some of the members that Slipknot has brought in in recent years from departures of their other members haven't been things that a lot of people were thinking was going to happen anyways, I could see them going left field and grabbing somebody that isn't like already a, a big established name or something like that. Uh, the only thing like we've said that is kind of throwing me off is we've seen Jeremy's drumming style in other videos and on the video I showed you guys and he has more of an old school traditional metal feel to his drumming, but that's not to say that he can't play the technicality that Slipknot uh, demands from their drummers. We really don't know. Like I've said, and I have to, to bring this up again, like this is purely speculation. I just wanted to bring you guys the things that I saw and kind of discuss this and see if maybe this is a possibility. But I'm curious to see where this goes, man. I mean, anytime something like this happens with a big band, of course, there's going to be tons of speculation and we're going to be talking about it and as I said, I don't think this is 100% proof by any means that he will be their new drummer, but something like this coming out of left field would not surprise me, again, considering how they brought in other people into the band. I mean, really what's doing it for me on this to be like, okay, this could happen is the experience and connections in the metal world, the fact that he's worked for other bands and he's drummed for a lot of metal bands. Um and the dirty delete of the post saying drumming is all about the right timing with the Slipknot logo. This this could very well be, we, we might be onto something. Then again, we might not be. This could be crazy tinfoil hat lunacy and we're all going to look, well, not we're all, but me. <laughs> I'm going to look dumb, you know, if, if this isn't it. But if this is it. It would be funny to go back and look on this after, <laughs> after it happens and be like, holy sh**. You know, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Does this even sell anything for you at all? Or is this just nonsense conspiracy? I don't know. Cause I've seen a lot of names brought up uh, over the past week that uh, there are a lot of logical names that make sense. But with all the stuff we just went over, I, I, I think this, we, we could be onto something with this one, but only time will tell. So for those of you watching on YouTube later, uh, thank you very much. And if you want to join us when we do this stuff on Twitch, you can go to twitch.tv slash tank the tech. Uh, leave me your thoughts in the comments. I, I would be curious to see what you think about this as well. If you have any proof or, you know, anything that just I'm absolutely wrong, let me know. I have no problem admitting I'm wrong, but I, I think this is an interesting one to bring up. You can follow me on a bunch of different social media. Uh, at Tank the Tech is my handle on just about everything. But we're going to wrap this one up. So wherever you are in the world, be safe, be kind to each other. I love you all. And I'll be back very soon with another video.